All right, I've got uh, a lot of questions concerning um, ship builds and how to outfit um, certain ships for different things, like PvP or ratting or things like that, and people not really knowing what the difference between the two are. So, in the first tutorial I did, um, it was just on Eve Mon, and I demonstrated how to create a plan for your character to get to a particular ship. Now what I want to do is go a little further and show you how um, Eve Fitting Tool can be used in conjunction with Eve Mon to not only make a plan for a particular ship, but um, the ship and a um, specific loadout for that ship. So this is the Eve Fitting Tool window. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to import your character information just like you did in Eve Mon. Um, so you show the character editor. Now I have all of my characters imported already, but you need to update it. Um, it doesn't auto update like Yvonne does. So if I wanted to update a character, I would select that character. Or if I did not have a character in here already, I would click this button here and it would give me this box. I would type in the character's name and hit OK. And then all that would do is add the character to this list. Once the character's in this list, you select that character. You hit import. Um, the import window will pop up with your ID and key information just like it did in Evemon. We'll go ahead and enter that information and then make sure you check the box that says to save it. Um, and then you update it. Make sure the names match. Okay. I just updated my character. Go back to skills. Um, the reason why you need to have your character skills in here is because when you're looking at a particular uh, loadout for a ship, it's going to take into consideration your skills um, to change, you know, the DPS and anything that uh, affects it. So I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to go into Evemon, and I'm going to select a character, and I'm going to create a new plan. And then this is the new plan window. I'm going to go to the ship browser and select the ship that I want to make a plan for. In this case, I chose the heavy interdictor. Now in the previous tutorial, we just concentrated on these skills, um, and these skills are the minimum to get you to pilot this ship. However, the Battle Clinic loadout link here, go ahead and click that, brings up all the loadouts that people have loaded on Battle Clinic, and you can browse them to find which one you want. So if I had looked at this Fleet, uh, Fleet Onyx loadout, hit View Loadout, <clears throat> this tells me all the fittings that are in that loadout. The plan is considerably longer. Um, and I don't know what all this does, and I don't know how it changes or increases the stats of the typical um, Onyx. So instead of just hitting Add to Plan, you can right-click on this and export it to the E-Fitting tool. So I go to the E-Fitting tool, and you want to uh, open the ship browser. I have Kaldari only selected here, so if I go to the... <clears throat> Excuse me. Heavy interdictor ships. It'll only show me the Caldari. I have three setups. I just imported one of them. I hit OK. And then find the one that I wanted. So this is the fleet one right here. Right now, yeah, you're looking at like how could that be right? 61 DPS, but you remember that we loaded the character for a reason. So I select the character from the list and it takes all my skills into account still didn't change much but that's because this red bar up here is telling me that I need that entire list of skills in order to utilize this ship and all of its fittings which you can see is a pretty extensive list so this doesn't really give me a good indication uh, of whether or not the ship's going to be good for me so what I do is I simulate my skills at level 5 so the best trained pilot for this particular ship and all of these fittings will have these stats. And as you can see this is built to be a tank not really a damage doer. Uh, the DPS is 121 uh, the volley is 1031 uh, targeting range is 100 uh, target resolution this doesn't really mean much but if you just right click on it and show lock time for like a frigate 
it'll lock a frigate in seven seconds, or for like a battle cruiser, it'll lock it in 3.4 seconds. You know, the capacitor information and your resistances are just like in the uh, game total hit points. This is your CPU, this is your power grid. Uh, this right here is uh, for the rigs that you have right here. Um, now, if you want to um, load a different missile, you can just right click the launcher and then you can tell it, you know, load T1 missiles, faction missiles, or T2 missiles. Um, and as you can see, loading a different missile uh, not only changed my optimal range, it shortened it a bit, but it also changed my DPS. So, let's see if I have a different. Passive tank, you load out. And you can load as many of these as you want just to get a feel for this just asks you if you actually want to import it to the clipboard from the clipboard just say yes and here's the, uh, the one I just imported make sure I select the character that I want and then you can evaluate each loadout this way and once you find a loadout that you like you just go back into Evemon to this window and hit to this window sorry and hit add all to plan and it will add everything for the ship which is here and for the fittings to your planning queue